welcome today guys I want to make for you all a very special request now this one was requested by Miss Sabrine and she requested that I make salt fish wontons so this is my take on this popular dish that you would get at the up market in Woodbrook so if you haven't seen that video I will leave the link for it at the end of this video so to start the recipe we're gonna start with a pot on medium heat to that pot I have some oil to the oil I'm gonna go in with some finely chopped onions I'm just gonna let these onions just saute in here for a little just until they start to turn translucent Next, I'm going to go in with a finely chopped pimento pepper, or you can use a hot pepper if you like. It depends on how much heat you want in this dish. Now, I'm going to go in with a salt fish or a salted cod, and I already boiled and washed the cod and flaked it up. Make sure you want to wash it. Wash all the salt from the cod, put it in some water, bring it up to a boil. You can boil it at least two times, discard that water, wash it again, and then you flake it up. mix now I'm making a very small batch but if you wanted to double or triple this recipe you can next I'm going to go in with some finely chopped cabbage okay after you've mixed in the cabbage and it cooks down just a little this is now finished. We need to set this aside and allow it to cool down before we can finish the make the filling for the wontons. So guys, once your filling cools down, you're going to go in with a little bit of cracked black pepper. Just a little, not too much. And I'm going to go in with some softened cream cheese. And I'm using full fat, but if you wanted to use low fat cream cheese, you can. And all you do is mix to combine. And you may think this sounds weird, but it's actually really good. If you've never had it before, I suggest you try it. Next, you're going to take your wonton skins or wonton wrappers. And you're going to place a dollop of the filling in the center. You're going to wet two ends with some water. Bring the other end over. Squeeze to seal. Wet one end. Bend the front over and bring these two ends together and squeeze to seal. And there we have one wonton. So I'm going to finish fill the rest of these and then we'll move on onto frying them. So I'm going to show you. Next, you're going to fry the wontons until they're golden brown. I have my heat on medium. If your heat is too low, all the wontons are going to do, they're going to absorb oil. And you don't want them to absorb the oil. Okay, so this first set is finished. I'm going to take them out and drain them on some paper towels and I'm going to continue frying the rest. So guys, here you have it. My recipe for salt fish wontons with cream cheese. I've paired mine with just a very simple pepper sauce. You can pair it with whatever you like. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy! Oh, 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 oh,